Sweet. Um, well, you guys said start off with, with, with why I came here. Um, so basically, on November first to November 9th, or November first to November third, the weekend of November first to third, um, there was this uh, um, workshop called uh, ABCs Organic Agriculture, um, and basically it was um, there was this man named Hydro Restrepo that was there, and Hydro Restrepo is an agroecologist, and he's from um, he's originally from Colombia, but he's an agroecologist, and uh, specifically he's uh, work with uh, um, some big names you guys probably heard about, like the UN, um, UNESCO, um, also the FAO, which is like the Food and, uh, Food and Agriculture Organization, which is part of the UN. Um, and so he uh, had this workshop um, that was that was uh, really too good to to miss. Actually, it was in Atlanta. It was at this place called the Lake Claire Community uh, Community Trust Land Trust, um, and um, the the cost of attendance was two hundred seventy five bucks, and then uh, and uh, the cost of getting back and forth is why I'm here today. Um, I'm the president of Organic Gardening Club. My name is Neon K. Shropshire Boykin. I probably should have started off by saying that. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, um, we've learned a lot of things. Um, it was really, it's the, the goal of Organic Gardening Club is specifically, uh, what the purpose of Organic Gardening Club is to get hands on, uh, hands on training in uh, organic, uh, not organic, but natural farming methods, um, and that's using, it's also growing medicinal and edible plants. Um, and we actually want to optimize, optimize the efficiency of uh, different farming techniques uh, through natural growing methods. Um, so that includes like permaculture, that includes composting. Um, <laughs> it's okay. Um, that includes like different forms of composting. Um, so in, in our in Organic Gardening Club, we actually compost a lot of different things. We do like a regular composting, which is like combining lots of organic material. So like nitrogen sources and carbon sources and um, making, making our own soil at the garden. Um, so that's what we use to grow our plants out of. And also we uh, do like vermicomposting, which is basically using um, things that are called <laughs> vermin, using vermin. That's where, that's where vermi comp the vermi prefix comes from. But also it's using like uh, red wrigglers, which is like, uh, they're like worms that composting worms that break down uh, break down organic material into worm casting. So that they're like really nutrient rich and they're like a natural fertilizer. So we use that as well. Um, but what I learned at the uh, organic, or um, ABC to organic agriculture workshop, um, it was a lot about uh, making your own inputs, um, making your own in ag agricultural inputs, uh, also making your own, um, uh, well actually let me, let me backtrack really quickly and just say that um, Hydro uh, advocates advocates for autonomy, um, also uh, self what is it self determination, uh, and also uh, uh, taking they basically putting the power back into the hands of smaller smaller farmers and, and uh, decentralizing the system of big agriculture because um, here 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 at Auburn big ag is a part of is a part of the university um, but it's important for people to know that you can uh, you can completely grow lots of food naturally, organically, with pesticide-free, chemical pesticide-free, and you can also do it for a cheaper price. Um, and so basically that's what I learned a lot about. Um, there was, uh, he learned, he talked about a lot about um, making like sulfur, sulfur calcium brews, um, making uh, lots of different pesticides. Um, the, the, specifically the sulfur calcium brew would definitely kill all of the insects that are on your plants, but it won't kill the plant itself. Um, and obviously you don't want to do this right before you harvest a plant, but um, there's, also, we learned about Bokashi, uh, which is basically a composting method using uh, anaerobic ba bacteria. Um, and this this uh, this process of using the anaerobic bacteria is really really uh, really awesome because um, it can break down it can break down food scraps, including milk and dairy. So, like usually, you wouldn't put milk and dairy into your or milk, dairy, or meat too. Uh, you usually wouldn't put that into your into your compost pile because it's going to attract a lot of different things. But since the anaerobic bacteria are so efficient at breaking down. Um, these uh, organic, this organic material, um, it's it's really it's really viable. So um, it's really awesome, uh, really awesome method. But also, uh, we we learned about using like activated biochar. Um, there at the workshop, we actually made like this. Uh, we had some wood, some pine, some like some little pine pellets, and we also mixed it with like some cow bones and literally like remains of a cow, and we put it into a barrel and we burned it. Uh, and it basically what that did, it reduced it down to ash. Um, and we used that, it's, that ash is really high, well, bones are really high in, in calcium. So um, that was a really nice calcium source. So you take the white parts, there's like white parts and black parts that come out. The black parts can be separated from the, uh, 
the black parts can be separated from the white parts, and the white parts are used uh, specifically uh, for the calcium, and the black parts still have like lots, have a different mineral composition. They're mostly carbon. Um, yeah, and so we basically took that, cal that, that calcium and we ground it up, and we sifted it out, and we put it into the um, into our into our uh, soulful calcium brew. But also, not only that, it was it was a lot of different other brews too. There's this book that's obviously specifically called ABCs to Organic Agriculture, and it's a picture of like um, it's a picture of like it was like really striking to me because it was like a picture of someone like with sandals on and like it looked like a very like uh, I guess like. Um, abstract of like someone's feet but it was like really uh useful because it was it was just a guess making it making it uh apparent that people were just uh anyone could do do this um cool. yeah um does anyone on the board have any questions sweet perfect well we'll let you know about our decision in a couple of days um do you have any questions for us um no uh when should i hear from you guys a couple of days like what? yeah uh yeah friday, Friday yeah. okay okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, I feel like you're welcome. Yeah, that's like I feel like I had like so much more to say, and I like just like glanced over a part of it. But um, yeah, I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me.